All right, we're back. NBA talk, another NBA video. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all know we do more than boxing, man. We're expanding the content. So hopefully all my NBA and basketball heads enjoy it. And everybody else that's looking for the other content, like we continuously dropping content. Like I created playlists to celebrate the content so you can uh, see what you like. But we back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, one time for the one time. And will DeMarcus Cousins be a good, uh, a happy camper with the Golden State Warriors? And, um... You know, we've seen it in history before where, you know, guys from bad teams that have bad reputations go to winning organizations and they tend <laughs> to fit right on in. You know, like they say, it's take a village to raise a child. Sometimes it takes a good organization to tame a wild animal <laughs> or a wild mongoose like DeMarcus Cousins, man. And like he, he's truly an animal, man. Uh, on the court, I mean, he's a beast. I mean, last year when, when da Anthony Davis was out, man, I mean, I thought he was the best player uh, in the NBA, you know, as far as putting stats up, man. He was, you know, for seven foot off the dribble, step back. He was, you know, getting assists. He he was dominant, man. You know, he was a very, very dominant big fella. But guess what? It didn't amount to win, so nobody looked at him of that nature. You know, to say this at first, for it to, to actually translate and win, Cuz is going to have to get on that block, like I said, by Anthony Davis and be dominant from the block and then develop the 10 to 15 range in the game to take away from the double teams that's going to come. Once he dominate the block and dominate the paint, the clout will come. And that showed with a lot of other big men in the past, Robinson, Lijewan, you know, Shaq. You know, all you need to dominate the paint, Ewan. And then you go out there for the 10 to 15 jumper when they bring the double team. You know what I'm saying? And when they bring the double team on a block, you kick it out. One of your three-pointers uh, shooters are open. So if the Warriors truly use Cousins the way they need to use it from in and out, regardless if he get the stats or not, you know, he going to be a happy camper because he's going to be an integral part of their success. You know, if they play in and out and let him work on the block and then pass out the double team and keep these guys moving off of picks and stuff of that nature, they'd be happy. But I think they have a winning culture and a strong enough, uh, uh, you know, player personnel around them with, with, with Durant and with Curry and with, you know, Clay is, is a lead by example type of guy. Draymond is the vocal leader. Steve Kerr, he been around the Zen Master Phil, and Phil Jackson know how, how to make these parts fit. And Steve Kerr is coming to his own as an excellent, great coach. And I understand he got a great personnel. He had a great job before he took this job. People forgot Stan Van Gundy turned down the Golden State Warrior job. And I believe that's how Steve Kerr ended up getting it. He, gave, he, was, a team, he was on TNT with a, probably with a great job. But he's seen this this opportunity. He made minor tweaks. He made he had his handprint in this organization. He made the ball movement. Mark Jackson, like my boy Kelly Enigma said, was more the isolation. But with Cousins, a winning organization gonna be the cure for this, man. And if he messed this up, think of it this way. If he if he messed this team up, but they don't win a championship, or they cut him, or they send him home, or or, or put him on inactivity, whatever they doing. Um an inactive list list, and I'm talking football phrases now. Whatever they tell him, if it's negative and he ain't a part of this championship culture or he stopped them from winning the championship, think of it like this way. He playing with his money because he only signed a one-year deal versus a little bit over $5 million. So he got to be a happy camper. So if the organization is not strong enough to bond him, to bond it together and get him to play winning ball, think about this. This is a showcase for him to get healthy with his Achilles, show that he still could play, put a ring on his resume, and get more money in the offseason. Because the word is that Clay Thompson could be leaving the uh, the Warriors next year and going to the Lakers. I believe his daddy, Michael Thompson, played for the Lakers. He was a sixth man for a minute, I believe. Really, real good player as well. So that might open up some money for, for DeMarcus Cousins to resign there or go somewhere else and get his money. So this is a showcase uh, year for DeMarcus Cousins. And like, I, like you say, you see Corey Dillon going to New England. He was a wild boy with Cincinnati Bengals. People forget how good a running back Corey Dillon was. He was just playing for the sorry Bengals. When he went towards the twilight of his career in New England, he was said to be a bad guy. Randy Moss from Oakland, from uh, from Oakland to, to New England, he had a bad reputation. But New England kind of bond, banded him in, and he revitalized his career with, with them as well. You know, so you see it in sports from time to time, man, with guys with bad reputations. Mark Aguirre from Dallas, they said they ain't want him. Well, they want him in Dallas. They was happy that he was gone. He came to the Detroit Pistons. They won a back-to-back championship with Mark Aguirre. He from Chicago. He's picked one pick ahead of Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas, you know, in the draft. So you've seen it happen again and again, man. You see guys come from 
from crazy situations. Latrell Sprewell went to the Minnesota Timberwolves, and the Timberwolves would have won the championship if it wasn't for Shaq and Kobe with Sam Cassell. He, he was a happy camper at that point. You know, had a lot of baggage. So you see it happening. So I'm going to tell you this. If Cousins, if he be the reason why if he the reason why they don't win the championship or they send him home or they cut him or he ain't an integral part of this championship team, you know, he hurting his, his stock value coming off an of injury. So he Alabama's finals gonna be a, gonna be a, a, a should be a good citizen with the Warriors. He should fit fit in. They gonna find ways to keep Cousins happy. Winning cures all in sports, man. It really does, man. I think Demarcus Cousins should be fine. But what it surprised me is high, if high head Cousins, you know, messes this situation up, you know, and it wouldn't. But he's starting to mature. Him and Davis was kind of balancing each other out. He was, Davis was trying to keep him from getting technicals and stuff. So let's see what a strong veteran locker room can do for DeMarcus Cousins, man. And I think it could do wonders for his career. They can add to his resume. He ain't got to rush to get healthy. And, um, and then next year he can get his money. I'm all about these players getting their money and controlling their destinies. Too long, too much, too long that these, these, the NBA controlled everybody's destinies like they do and in sports in general, uh, especially in the NFL with the franchise tag. But it's the Boston Clinic of Morris, your boy CJ Goodfella. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know so you won't miss no more of that heat. And uh, don't forget to hit you know for the live streams as well. I'm gonna start getting into uh, more basketball, football live stream as old season starts to approach. Uh, don't forget we got the new college sports page popping off. S1210 College Sports Most Wanted. Me to Cali and Nick McCloster Sports uh, uh, Talk. I'm in TV, and that link is in the description as well. My business email is in the description as well. Patreon page coming very very soon. Uh, with a lot of exclusive, explicit content, that real raw stuff I can't spend on YouTube. But I appreciate everybody for subscribing. Continue to share the video, share, share them, and make it go viral. Uh, much love, much respect. One time for the one time we gone.